Sheet lightning is probably predominantly used for sheet metal, um, but it actually is useful for quite a lot of other um, areas of design, artistic design, lampshade design, for example. And lampshades are one thing that uh, it has been widely used for. So this is a short video just to give you uh, an idea of exactly what you can do with this. And what you see there already loaded is a, a special item which uh, is an asymmetric oval. Now let me close this and just show you how I got to that so you know where to find it. Um, if you use the new menu everything is under there. There's the asymmetric oval, the symmetric oval. Um, there is also quite a bit that can be used in the parametric libraries uh, in terms of simple cones and uh, adapting sections say from rectangular to circular or just rectangular sections uh, they can be obtained from there. Now, a lot These are all um, parametric so you can just enter parameters on all of these um, but there are but then the next thing you could do is use the 3D design environment which is not as difficult as it sounds and then you can create uh, not just single um, item objects but but objects with cuts at the bottom using other objects to cut them um, but I'll give you an example of that before we finish. Uh, and one big thing, probably the, even the most useful thing here, will be dome design, and you'll see that in operation in a moment. So let's first take a look at the symmetric oval. There, it's got two sides, um, two ends of an oval shape. So it's kind of four radiuses brought together is what we're calling an oval here. And one, the, probably, the, probably the main ways to alter this apart from the radius dimensions would be to go into end 1 or end 2 probably end 2 and use the scale parameter and say I want a scale of 0 0.7 and it will immediately scale that end to 0 0.7 of the this end so very quickly you get a normal typical lamp lampshade um, arrangement and one thing that may be, may be useful here is to use the, excent the eccentric offsets. Um, let's say if I gave it this an offset in the width direction of 100 millimeters, what it does is skew over. Um, let's reduce that to 50. And then possibly the height also could be skewed um, and and this is just moving the top on a plane in in relation to the other end so let's say 40 millimeters let's, uh, that looks so you, you see you can use that for a kind of basic template um, of a lampshade um, so similar to that is the asymmetric oval which you saw me op uh, start with. So here we are with the asymmetric oval and again same thing but it's got a negative radius here so we can just you need to use select mode here uh, just type a, a larger radius that's minus 300 let's say minus minus 200 that will make it a sharper radius and that's moving in there so minus 150 there you see that gradually changing um, minus 100 the smaller it gets obviously the more cute the angle and let's use the scale as again say 0 0.7 you can actually use um, the scale here to scale the whole thing up or down which, uh, so that's easily done and there you've got again you can use eccentricity as well if you like but uh, there you've got kind of a kidney shaped um, um, lampshade and these have been used in very high, high, pro high profile shops Some big manufacturers are actually using this program to create those kind of things okay so that's um, ovals the special ovals and you can't intersect those with other things but if you, if you look at some of the other things um, in the parametric libraries, all of these in the parametric libraries can be intersected with other things. 
so if we look at I'll use the metric ones here you could use inches but if you look at first the simple cut there we can just get a simple cone an oblique cone and, and do a similar thing but it's just a radius ET end and, a, and an oblique offset um, let's go for something more complex which is the adapters now here we've got various adapters various shape adaptions um, all of which could make an interesting lampshade um, that is the universal one so that's kind of got everything in it and you can reduce by zeroing these down you could redu can reduce them to um, round and uh, round and, and rectangular ends if you wish so let's have a look radius if we say with the radius here zero so the top radius is the top radius here is now zero uh, let's increase that radius to 200 uh, and then you've got the eccentricities here the uh, delta width the oblique width 30 let's change that to 200 just to make it extreme and that's really move that over probably in a way that you wouldn't want to but who knows and then the overall length of this you could increase that to a thousand that would be a very large lampshade a meter in height let's unfold that there we have the pattern for that so right click and close that once you've got the pattern you can use you can use the export here to export it to a CAD system and then then alter it further if you want seams and things but this will only give you the basic pattern as it stands okay let's close that and introduce now dome design which as I said is very powerful and should be great for lampshades um, here we have an ability to do find a number of sections now that's a quite in, an important um, parameter because you can select different kinds and smart is very versatile we'll, I'll show you that in a moment but just for a simple one here let's uh, alter this to say 14 sections and there we go very quickly that will update 14 sections or we can have three sections interesting lampshade there um, say five and so on and we can change the cap diameter to say 100 and um, various things about this the which change the diameter of the or radius of the uh, curve here that was the rim so I've changed the rim depth there so let's we could have this very deep if we wanted or very shallow and you could take a look at that in solid as well you can always look at these in solid like an umbrella kind of shape there when we unfold this you see there's a cap there and the other parts are symmetrical okay now I did mention that um, let's close this first I did mention that we can get fairly complex stuff here there's a double radius arrangement here so we've got one radius there and another radius at the end uh, on the segment so here we've got two to alter um, cap okay we'll change the cap again to 200 just to increase that we'll change the segments to say 10 and the rim can be lengthened let's say to 200 give it some depth and then there's the radius top radius 700 let's call that uh, 500 there you see it altering the whole shape of the um, 
the dome so it's something you want to make out of strips as this is like orange peel this is the thing to use um, now the other option here was the smart option and that allows you to add sections so there it's got two strips um, I, I can tell it to give me more strips four strips and each one of those can be altered with the radius you can take this to a negative radius. that's got a negative radius there so if I change that to plus 600 it will turn the other way on that radius any, mo any other negative radius here that's minus 600 say plus four 500 so there you're getting some very elaborate uh, lampshade design by having four different radius sections and you can change the number of radius and straight sections that you've got there um, strip type that says arc I could change it to straight and have a flat piece so one of those is a, is a flat let's change this third one to from arc to straight We need something to turn it down that would probably work upside down. So look at that in solid. So that's kind of weird and wonderful. Don't know whether you'd create anything like that. Okay. Um, so that is the parametric design of lampshades and there are quite a lot of possibilities there. I did mention uh, the 3D CAD design. Now what you can do, you can either start a new design here like this and then you would have to put in a vertical piece uh, which is easily enough done. You need to select a vertical here and then put create part and pick two points. You need to be in select mode here. Pick two points. This is putting it in vertical, use the snap to vertical there and in goes a piece and we can change the diameter at each end that could be say 500 um, or a thousand, uh, thousand so that was that was a hundred and there we've got a cone uh, one way to change that from being a simple cone uh, first of all there's a um, there's a scale function here so you can scale the whole thing down so if you want it half size just type 0.5 and that will scale it uh, but the the oblique offset here is similar to what you were putting in in the eccentricities if you click on that then click on a node you can actually move this in an eccentric fashion so if I look at this in 2D here I'm actually choosing a position for that without altering the length of the part and if you want to make something with different sections let's have a look at that in 3D again if you double click on there you can choose one end let's have a look at that let's roll that over have a look you can choose one end and say make that a radius rectangle at that end or an oval and then you'll you type in the parameters here to change that so it's similar it's probably easier in many ways than using the parametric system um, although this is parametric for the actual section size so we need the select mode here we can click on click on a parameter there and say change that to for uh, 1200 2000 rather big lampshade this go to this end, change the diameter to 500 there we have a weird arrangement let's go to this end again We've got high, let's give it some more height, say 1200 so this is actually as easy to use as the um, parametric now one of one great thing with this once you say okay there it goes in and it's in in the 3d now 
one great thing with this is if I create a cone or a cylinder and I'll put this in I'll put this in the vertical or the horizontal plane so I'm just going to put in a cylinder like this and I'm going to snap to the axis put in a nice length there and then change the diameter to something that's going to be effective for me so let's say 2000 okay now if I take take hold of the cylinder and drag it um, let's see now what I'll do here I'll cancel that I'll take hold of this one and I'll drag that by the end and then I'll link it on to this piece I go near there it sticks me onto that center line and now this will be this can be used let's zoom that in this can be used as a cut a cutting tool for that uh, base of that lamp so if I go weld there you see that's been cut using this as the cutting tool and there's nothing to stop you creating another one of those going the other direction and having curve in the in the other direction also so you can have any number of um, cutting sections in fact if I select this I'll use duplicate here copy it so I've copied that if I use rotate now there's a rotate you can actually use this here rotate there if I say rotate the selected around the z-axis to an angle of 90 degrees and you could get some interesting results by using other than 90 degrees that if we just bring it into view has been rotated around so if I now choose to drag this from the central node and link it onto that central node I have one going the other way if I do let's zoom this first let's action um, or if you use weld all there we have a fairly interesting lampshade with curves at the bottom of course if these um, cutting tools were smaller in diameter let's say uh, 1400 let's just say that one at 1400 and do the weld again we get a different result now so you can see all sorts of possibilities and there's no reason why this one shouldn't have been put at 45 degrees uh, to get a different result altogether this can also be made eccentric so there are all sorts of possibilities here and um, if I click on that and say unfold it using the unfold here unfold all parts well that, that did all parts but this is the only one we wanted so if we close that and we say unfold um, action unfold the selected just get that one there's your pattern for that so that's that's very quickly created I'm sure you'll agree and um, using cutting tools at both the top and the bottom could give you some very interesting lampshade results now I hope that let's, let's have a look at that in solid unfortunately I'll only show you all of them there you can at least see that shape it's quite a weird shape and you can use any number of cutting tool intersections combined in here so the possibilities are kind of quite endless there and there we have uh, a good overview of lampshade design